Hello everyone, it's Barbara again and once again we are still in the UK. In today's video, I'm bringing you scholarships or studentship for University of Surrey in the UK. These are studentship and the good thing is that if you have a bachelor's degree, you could apply directly to a PhD in UK, which is amazing because you are able to, I wouldn't say skip the master's, but you're able to get a master's and a PhD within a duration of 3.5 years. So without wasting much time, let's have a look at what it entails. I also want to say thank you to all those who subscribe to my channel. Thank you to all those who comment and who share. You're yeah, helping my channel grow. And if you like more videos about scholarships or studentship in the UK, let me know. If not in the UK, which other countries are you interested in? And I'll find something for everyone. So we go to University of Surrey. I'll leave the link in the description box. And when I say this, yeah, I'll leave it in the description box for you to follow along. So open your computer, take your pens and papers, and let's dive right into it. So you go to the filters, you choose fee status type, and you choose funding. So fully funded, partly funded, self-funded, we choose fully funded. Then you choose international. So let's see. So the options pop up. So there are so many options. It's up to you to take your time and read each and every one of them and see what works for you. So this is in economics, which is really nice. It's up to you to take your time and read and see which one works for you. So this is 17k pounds. Yeah. And this is for the full duration of the program so this you get a master's and a phd together which is nice but let's go back so i already have some of them have opened we'll have a look at them i'll teach you what you need to do to prepare competitive application and a good thing about these websites is like all the information you need is there you have to take your time and read so the deadline is 30th of june so we have roughly a month this is about eighteen thousand pounds and it will cover the tuition fees for 3.5 years so we'll give you a stipend as well as tuition and this is a professor i also advise that you visit his page and read a bit about him and the work he does so there are two projects this part is very important this is a project you are going to work on so you don't have to submit your own research proposal you don't have to submit your own topics they already have the topic and the first thing i always advise you to do is to try and rewrite this section in your own words the goal is to help you to understand better exactly the work you are going to do if I'm support, I think you are going to use content authenticity and novel AI. So you, oh, this is a nice topic. You are going to use AI to fight fake news. You know, during the COVID and even during elections, there is a lot of misinformation. So this topic is about misinformation. Yeah. The, within the decade center. Okay, so this is about what fighting against misinformation. Okay, so this is cool. So you read this, you try to understand this. So this is the criteria. You need to have a first class in either engineering, computer science, signal processing, applied mathematics, and physics. Be able to demonstrate excellent mathe mathematical, analytic, and programming skills. So you see, I always advise people to learn programming because it also opens a lot of opportunities for you. Previous experience in computer version, machine or deep learning would be advantageous. So it means that if you already have this knowledge, you'll be good. So if you're actually working in these fields, these are good skills that you can start learning now if you don't have them because it makes you competitive. Alternatively, or in addition, experience in distributed ledger technology such as blockchain, in particularly in use case where it has been combined with AI or signature. So this is like people who have these ones will be really great for them to apply so to apply you should submit via the vision speech and signal processing PhD. Pro. you click on this in place of a research proposal you should upload a document stating the title of the project that you wish to apply for and the name of the supervisor which you have it here so let's see this is a professor let's see some of the work he does so 
this is his research interest. It might not be necessary, but I would advise that you actually read a bit about his publication to get a fair idea of the kind of work he does, to know that if this is something you are interested in. So that is it for this project. We have a look at another one. Okay, no. So to apply, they said click on this link, your PhD program page. So this is the department you'll be in. They give you specific details. So let me see, they have webinars. When is that? Okay. This would be nice. I think if you're interested in this program, I advise that you attend this webinar. But that's not the purpose of this video. So I'm going to go back here. So why choose this program where you will study during the period, the assessments and the facilities available. These are the research teams they work in. So there's a lot of information here that you will take time to, 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 to read. So entry requirements. So you select your country. So every country and their entry requirements. So, so this is Ghana. You have to check. That's not the purpose of this video, but it's always good to check the entry requirements of your country and view the so this is for the IELTS requirement they require an IELTS view the other English language qualifications you accept so if you don't meet this you could offer they could offer you like before you start you have an intensive English language course which is nice so the selection per selection is based on applicants meeting the expected entry requirements of application, successful interview, and suitable references were required. So this is really great. So these are the fees. You should look at it, but it wouldn't really be our focus because we are looking at getting a scholarship. So to apply online, you select which one, you which um, date you want to start, and you will choose that to apply so this is where we saw that if you're applying for a project you just have to put the title and the supervisor so take your time and read this for the program you want to apply for the score level varies so this is a set of qualifications me too this is something that you should take your time and read national called nigerian and ghana so for if you're from nigeria and ghana you could submit your wasi and if you scored at least grade c6 you do not need to write the ielts exam so this is really the reason why it's important that you read all these things they might be cumbersome but there's a lot of information of this so if you're but you guys do not need to provide an english if you are from one of these countries So yeah, so this is cool. So Ghana, you just need to submit your WASI. So this is also another project. This is 3.5 years. We look at the requirement, either first class or a second class upper. If you have experience in research uh, in machine learning and computer, as you could see, machine learning and computer vision is becoming a very hot kick. So I advise you to take your time and read about it. This is when you could start. So this is a, so for each of them is the same. You just have to look at the deadline and they'll show you how to apply. Then you apply. So these are other ones, but I'm not gonna, cause it's gonna be the same thing. Okay, so this is for your, so this is the one for economics. This is five years because it's for both masters and PhD. So your eligibility you have to have an undergraduate degree with first class honors in a relevant discipline and a master's degree. But we also accept applications for master's and candidates without a master's degree, so which is which is great. They tell you exactly what you need. So this is just for investors of sorry. There are a lot of opportunities available, but you need to take your time to look at the options that are available for you. In this video, I was looking at the student trip, but let me see if they do also have scholarships for thought programs. So for every website, the process is similar. So you go to study, you could look at uh, postgraduate programs. Okay. So this will help you to see the programs they do have. Okay, I don't know why everything is showing like a PhD. 
Okay, so these are research degree courses. Let me go back again. Study. Okay, postgraduate thoughts. I'm gonna look at this. Okay, so the postgraduate thought, their thought programs are masters and they are, which is interesting, and their research is a PhD. So I'm gonna choose data science. I'm gonna look at fees and funding. So they have the payment schedule, so you don't have to pay all at once. So no, you have to, they can borrow fees, so. I don't know if this is the same for every program, but I would advise that you look at it. And also when it comes to UK, there are, I have a playlist on studying in UK. So you could just go to my channel and type UK. All the videos I've made on UK will pop up. So these are 70 plus scholarships. These are the scholarships you need. So to hear from me again. Bye.